Now then, welcome back to another episode on VisoCraft. Uh, as you can probably hear in my voice, I've still got a bit of a crackly sore throat and a bit bunged up. Uh, I've recently, I'll tell you the quick story while we're having a look around this place, look. Uh, this is what I've been doing over the last week. Um, recently, my youngest boy, who's only two, he's three in September, he went to nursery for the first time. You get a little bit of an allocation of hours to send them to nursery to introduce them to the idea of getting up and going to school and being being away from their parents and playing nicely with other children and having some sort of routine and schedule. Well, it got to the point where he got his three hours and we sent him off to a really nice nursery just around the, uh, just down in the town. And uh, first thing he comes back with after a couple of days, he's got chicken pox. And then me and the wife, we've got chest infections thanks to that. So this last week, I've pretty much not recorded anything since the VisoCraft episode that I recorded for last week's episode. Uh, but I have been working on this. I've been uh, digging all this out. We've got a beacon down uh, just over in that little hole over there. And I just carved this clean out, cleared it all down. Just to follow on from the Hunger Games, we're not going to do anything over here today. But I'm seeing this as sort of like the centre. And then we head off into that little cracky opening there, that little crag. Uh, to head off and use minecarts to send them out into the world to play the Hunger Games. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that first, but now I'm going to go and head back to spawn and we're going to work on the little building contest that I also mentioned at the end of last episode while we have a bit of a chat about things. Uh, yeah, I've not really been feeling well, well enough to do any recording, so I've been doing just a, a, a bit of playing, a smidgen of playing here and there. Just to uh, just to keep myself uh, entertained while I've been feeling sorry for myself. I've not really been up to recording. I've done a, a couple of live streams with Lewis to finish a Sky Factory episode off. Uh, well, Sky Factory live stream off. And I've also taken the time to get myself sorted out to be able to record something new, which you've probably just seen on my channel starting this last week. Um, but outside of that, I've not really been feeling up to it, uh, up for it, up to it, whatever you want to say it as. Uh, and so I've had no content on my channel other than stuff that was pre-recorded, like the uh, the UHC stuff and the bingo game that I played with Sunshine. And the UHC that me and Peddy went out and uh, did to represent the VisoCraft uh, with a bit of a... A twist the snapshot UHC uh, and the snapshot UHC is still running on the channel I've got another couple of weeks uh, worth of episodes of that to dish out to you guys so I hope you're enjoying that and uh, as with VisoCraft I've got a lot more things to do uh, I think I'll keep that on me yeah I think I'm uh, I think I'm planning on changing my ideal of what I want to build at spawn. Uh, I'll show you when we get there. I'm just trying to figure out what else I need to take, because it's a long way to travel to spawn to get things. Uh, glass, maybe. Maybe need some glass. Yeah, I'll take a stack of that. Uh, not black, though. That would be, that'd be bad looking. Uh, get some more netherrack. Actually, I've got netherrack at spawn, but yeah, I'll take some more anyway. All right, let's start heading. As you can see, I haven't really done much more. Um, I, I finished off that as well because I found a load of slimes. Uh, so I finished off the pumpkin farm. That's a good thing. I'm glad I finished that finally. And every now and again, I see the uh, I see the arrow come back, which is a bit strange. Let's see if we can uh, get it to come back. Graphics fancy, I thought it was to start off with, but it's not graphics fancy at all. So, it's not particles, because we've got particles all on. Smooth lighting off, because it's better for your, your PC to run without smooth lighting on. It does look nicer with a moody, uh, moody with smooth lighting and stuff, but not very good for YouTube. But every now and again, I come back through the portal, and it's there. It's still there. And I'm thinking, 
I'm sure that's gone, but I think it might be there just sort of invisible somehow. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Let's give it a quick check now. And have a, a quick whiz through. And go back into the nether and then come back through again. And sink. Oh, there you go. Sink. I'm uh, currently uploading a video, so my uh, my sinking to the server is not quite as good as it should be. So look, let's see if we can catch the arrow. Come on, arrow, be there, be there. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Look, see, I shocked it. I surprised it. I don't know how it's happened. I don't know how it does that. I don't know why it does that. But then a bit later on, it'll disappear again. It's uh, it's the arrow has become crazy like, isn't it? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't understand it. Oh well. I'm not going to touch it though. I'm going to leave it there. I thought about removing that half slab and I'm sort of glad I didn't now. Because now I haven't removed it. Now the arrow's come back and uh, well we quite like that arrow don't we? It's like it's like the arrow. It's the holy arrow of Nemson or something someone said in the comments at some point. <laughs> Which is fairly funny. But uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to see if how long it stays there. Uh, I mean, I don't think it causes any particular issues to the server or anybody on it. It's not like I've got a hundred of them around and about the place all doing the same thing. But if it's an entity that loads up, and it's uh, one of a million entities that loads up, and uh, they're stuck all around the server, then the server could grind to a halt if that was to happen. Fortunately, that's just one arrow. Uh, it's like that chicken jockey problem that they had in vanilla uh, in the snapshots where the the uh, chicken jockeys would lay eggs and then the zombies would uh, spawn and pick up the eggs and just remain standing around where they were. There you go. Goodbye. Yeah. Interesting. The server's on 179 now. I think I told you about that. Uh, not snapshots, so minecarts and stuff still function normally and things like that for us, so that's okay. Uh, I'm going to have to do uh, an awful lot of work over on my Hunger Games to uh, get all the rail carts and stuff that I want. I'm thinking of using like jumps and stuff, so I'm hoping that when 1. Uh, 1.8 comes out and there's those uh, slime blocks that actually function, which is super awesome. I can do some cool things with making people go down Indiana Jones style minecart systems and jump little gaps and things like that. I suppose I could make them jump gaps already, but just having them sort of like bounce up and jump off and over would be funny as well, wouldn't it? Uh, but that sort of, uh, the project is there and I'm doing it when I've got uh, only my own thing to do in the world. Uh, the community project, we've found a Mooshroom Island. Or rather, should I say, Blue Echo found a Mooshroom Island. Um, and we've got the coordinates for it. And now we just need to get together as a server and start doing some server activities. Let's even get rid of this rain by stopping at Juicy's Hotel. This is the best thing about this little thing. Right? This, this little place here. Awesome. Also now, if I respawn, or die or whatever, I respawn at spawn so I can just get back on with work. It's a brilliant idea Juicy had for this. And it's to replace uh, the safe house that Clash built in the first place. Which is pretty cool as well. There's no one else on the server, so I'm not really worried about whether my name's in here. But let's have a quick check anyway. Uh, I pressed the button instead of opening the chest. Okay, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, didn't it? There's still not many people in here, is there? It's a kind of a bit of a flop of a mini game on the server. I don't know why nobody else has just jumped in it for the sake of jumping in it. It's just for a bit of fun, isn't it? And check me shop as well, and then we'll go over to the uh, Pirate Bay area and uh, see what I've built so far. I saw that Peddy had built his thing, his... Um, ship his captain's room and all that fairly recently no nothing there let's uh, pop some of that away that's what i brought that over for uh stocks all seem fairly high apart from that which i'm currently using tons of at home ah that's all right nobody's used any oh well um yeah i saw peddy's build he uh he did an episode the other day 
building the pirate ship that's been turned into a house uh, in the plot right next to mine, which looks cool. Um, and you can see mine from over here, and you can see Peddy's through there as well. Look. Mine, it's just more of a shape of what I was thinking. Not yet the actual, like, finished product. It's not really finished yet. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to change it an awful lot. I was sort of, like, seeing how size and shape it was. What sort of size and shape it needed to be. So this big square monstrosity is going to get ripped down again. Uh, but now I know roughly what sort of size I want it to be. See, peddy has got this nice little thing next to us. Very intricate detail, looking cool. Doesn't look like anyone else has done any building in the competition. So when Juicy comes to uh, declare a winner, it's just out of me and Peddy. And to be honest, I'm not after winning. I don't really, really, really want to win and think, right, well, Peddy's done a really nice design there, so I've got to up my game and change mine around. Uh, but I do want something nice to be there. Um, I might try and build something a bit more. It's supposed to be like a lighthouse. But I built it fairly bulky to start off with. And then I was going to put some rings of white clay and stuff in it. And uh, this one piddly little bit of uh, netherrack burning is not going to distract any ships from coming too close to the port. And uh, that sort of stuff. So I was thinking... There's not a lot of rockiness around here either. It's not like there's a lot of places for ships to um, ships to come to harsh endings on. I don't know, what do you call it? Come to ground? Crash? Oh, you just crash, don't you? Become shipwrecked. But what? What? what's the name for it? I don't know. Come aground. Come bad. Bad luck. That's why you have a, a lighthouse. So instead of a lighthouse, right, so... Still, I'm going to have a great big lighthouse light at the top, right? But instead of a lighthouse, I'm now thinking that I'm just going to have some sort of like... Uh, you know in Lord of the Rings where they have beacons that they put up? They have like a, a beacon system where... Which is my edge? This is my edge, isn't it? Um, where the... The be-all and end-all is that they can light a beacon here and somewhere over there someone else will see the beacon has been lit and light their own beacon and then someone miles away that direction across the mountains. So the beacons get lit to warn of impending danger of some kind. Uh, and this one would double up as some form of like locator beacon. So ships that are coming to harbour in the foggy nights could see where the light source is and sort of aim towards it to get here. Um, but this is currently a great big square mess that I made while I was feeling ill. Just because I wanted something to do. And so, we're going to have to change it up a bit. Um, I'm going to start with how high I want it. Now, I don't want it to be higher than Peddy's. But I've got to be aware that I'm going to be having something burning here. And it's like a 3x3 three three around it. So... If I've got my beacon there, I shouldn't burn any of Peddy's rooftops. But I think I might also try and go that little bit higher with it. Just so that I've got a bit more of a, a, a height advantage. Um, but I don't really want to go too much higher than the town hall's going to be. But the town hall, of course, is based down there. So I'm thinking maybe just this high. Just this high. And then maybe you can see the beacon from around spawn a little bit as well. Um, right, so we're going to start off with, we've got a 7x7 seven seven plot, so I think I'm going to do a 5x5 five five, um, beacon base, as it were, and by beacon base, it's going to be just a, a load of netherrack, like this, all able to be lit when you need to. Um, probably just put cobblestone in the middle, just because... We don't need any internals, do we? I could always make some internals another time. But then we've got a bit of another rack here as well. And then just one on the top as well there. 
So this will end up being the beacon, and when all of this is flaming and lit, that would then signal some other beacon or allow ships to come in through to the port at night. So that is what we're going to build up to. But first of all, I'm going to take a little cut and I'm going to wreck all this, destroy it all, break it all down, and start building up to it. I might actually start building down from it. That might be a better idea. And then fill in afterwards when I've taken it out. Hmm. Either way, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Right, so now I'm just looking at it. Just looking at it, and it looks a bit like a candle. Just uh, a bit like. <laughs> a bit like a candlestick. The idea is that I'm going with here is some sort of like a rocky outcropping that they built that on and then put the wood and everything around it to build the docks around it. So I'm making it look as best I can as something that's been here for a long time. Now the cobble, this is just the style I want to build at here because I don't build like this very often. Uh, but it's kind of in keeping with how Relentless has been building his uh, town hall. The uh, randomness of it in a still a, a nice look, but a fairly big use of lots of different blocks. Uh, and I've seen that type of design before uh, quite a lot in other videos and things. I've never really tried it myself. Um, some of you will probably know who is the, the famous one for doing stuff like this, but I don't really know. All I've got here is uh, some materials that I want to use. And I was thinking that I'll have some sort of wood stairs going up and around it to get to the top. Sort of a curvy, windy spiral staircase up there. But I basically, I'm using this as my um, foundation and I've got to cover cobblestone. With cobblestone as well, but I've got to cover cobblestone. This is my 7x7 seven seven base. And I'm allowed to overlap one, so I can place against cobblestone. Here, I can place against cobblestone, but it goes in slightly to make it a 7x7. Seven seven. And then there on the 3x3, three three, I can place against cobblestone again, and it'll be 5x5. Five five. And there I place against cobblestone, it's 7x7 seven seven again. So I'm placing against this cobblestone just to skim it now. This is like the bulk of it, and that's all solid cobblestone. And now I can skim it with lots of different block types. So, that's what I want to try and do. I want to see what I can make from these guys around and take all these different stone types. I don't know about the stone bricks, to be honest. I don't know if I want to use them in the build or not. Uh, we'll see. And uh, as for bits of acacia wood, I actually feel that oak wood would be better. Would be better. But i got to sort of make my mark on the place. Uh, don't have anything out. I do have some wooden planks, actually. Let's, let's forget the idea that I'm going to put my individuality of my biome on it this time around. This time around, I'm building it to fit into Spawn's uh, style. So, I've got plenty of stone. Stone of them, stone bricks. Yeah, I've got all the stone stuff I need. It's these. So, we can make... We can make mossy walls. We can't make mossy stairs, can we? No, we can't make mossy stairs. So I've got mossy brick and mossy walls as part of it. I can make some cobblestone walls out of it. Yeah, and I can make some cobblestone uh, stairs out of it. Uh, I'm not going to use any full blocks of cobblestone. So let's make another couple of those. And another couple of these. Like that. Can I make one more stairs out of it? Yes, I can. Okay. Because I'm not going to use any full blocks of stone. That would be silly, wouldn't it? And I've got some of that in case I need some more cobblestone. There's nothing else, I don't think. Right. So, let's get as much of this on the bar as we can. And try and fix up this place to look good. Randomly good is the trouble. Randomly good is the, the aim of the game here. So, with only one or two stair types, I guess... Uh, I guess with wooden steps. Let's have a, a set of wooden steps. I'll try and use these planks whenever possible. So, going up the side to start off with. 
Um, we'll start here and work around, I reckon. Maybe in the middle and work around. That would do a job. That would do a thing, wouldn't it? Oh, it's always always difficult to think about where you're going to start on a project like this. I've got an idea. You've heard the idea. But is it going to work? Let's take a couple of these out and put a couple of mossy in first. Just so we've got a bit of something different about it. Just pop a few bits of mossy in at the base of it. We need to we need to highlight a few bits and pieces like that first. And maybe have a bit of a a couple of these kind of mossy bits growing up through it. Uh maybe one there. Then we got different stairways, so I can have a stair going one way and a a block there with a bit of mossy just showing through. Could have the stairs coming in and around kind of like this with a bit of something here Could have another one there like that so it's just sort of a way up and around it doesn't quite go that way though does it let's put that on so you can flow up it that'd be an idea to flow up and around or not just take that off flow up and around it like that and then we need to give this some feature ways some segue bits like this like this we can add a bit of a mossy brick on there make it all crag like we don't have a lot of blocks to choose from really to be honest do we so let's take a take a block out here and just give it a, a pop on like that make it all rocky feeling um, can take this one out and put that there there you go there's there's more than one way up the corner but it's just getting rough and random trying to make it rough again rough around the edges that's what we want to see uh, let's have a bit more mossy around the place as well we want to see a little bit of wear and tear damage and the like. Yeah. Uh, let's pop this like that. And one above it. There we go. And a bit of a thing in front of it there. We can put a bit here. And if I put that there, it puts a little dark patch in. So that's no good. have a bit like that a bit stick up and out like that make it wall upsided slightly there's another thing we can do let's go with something like that as well because those fences yeah, those gates joined together fences joined together I believe I just jumped onto that I did I did I did oh, I came this way I see I went up that fence that wall should I say all right, yeah, we're getting there. The scraggly, messy place. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Let's put a bit of a uh, something there as well as another entrance way. Um, maybe go opposite that side there. Put another block there. There we go. Spreading out into its seven by seven, a bit craggy like. Yeah, I'm liking it. Step back and have a look. Now that looks a bit more like the base of something, doesn't it? That looks like something uh, something at the start. And that's how I'm going to work up and around the whole thing. So, uh, let, me, let me mess about a bit because I've got to place blocks, place blocks, place blocks. But it's just that sort of random placement of blocks which will give us the end result. So, uh, I'll be back in a minute to finish off. Uh, what I can do here, though, is go and use Peddy's already built place, head up round here, and go to the bed, and make it day. It's awesome having it right next door. Okay, so I'll be back when I've done. All right, then. Just about finished. Just about finished it all up. 
Uh, just putting the final cap on top of it all. I've got a bit of a, a walkway all the way up. I'm quite pleased with how it looks. Quite random is what I was looking for with a sort of a, a fiery top, which is what we've got here. Hopefully you'll see. Uh, it's been quite interesting to build like this. It's been different. Now, we've got this platform up the top here, which is uh, easily accessible by this little staircase. Uh, and I'm going to light the top now to see how it looks. It's all encased to give it a, a bit of a, a glow. So I'm going to start by lighting the top. And I've left it so it's tall enough so that I can light all the fires. And I've been and got myself another bit of flint and steel to be able to light all these fires for you so you can see it in action. Let's see. Last couple round here. And there we go. We've got the big burning fire that should be seen for miles around. Shouldn't go out. Shouldn't burn anything. There shouldn't be anything burnable here. I've done quite all I can to make sure that stone is encasing the whole thing at the top here. This little bit here maybe burns. I don't know. If it is, if it burns away, then I'll have to put a stone, uh, stone slab there as well. But this is the beacon that can be seen from miles around. And uh, head down the rickety stairs and I've got all of this uh, mix mishmash of cobble and a bit of gravel and some mossy cobblestone and the odd bit of stone brick and a few bits and pieces around here. It all fits in nicely to this overall viewpoint of a beacon tower on top of a bit of a craggy rocky thing. A craggy rocky thing. Yeah, that's it. That's a sentence. That's a word. Craggy rocky thing with a wooden uh, platform going around it. I want to have a look at it from a different point of view, like over there. Just got to be careful that I don't get killed by mobs when I get over there. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Bang. Uh, it looks fairly, fairly big up top. That's my only concern, that the overall end result is a fairly bulky top piece. But... It does have that, uh, you can see it for miles around, which is what I was looking for. It does uh, show up in the distance. It does sort of fit the theme as well, that it's there to show people where the harbour is. So I'm quite pleased with it overall, quite pleased with it. Uh, let's see if we can get back up over that fence. Look at that for a shot. Yep, so that is my entry for the building competition. All I need to do now is... Uh, change this to add a signpost. Uh, Peddy's got plot three according to that. I don't know where plot one is then. Maybe this is plot two. Okay. Uh, let's put this on that bit there. Plot one. Uh, or let's go plot two just in case. Plot number two. Nemson the beacon. There we go. And then I grab all my stuff and I'll head back onto my base and I'll start doing things towards my projects once again. Uh, not bad. I'm quite pleased. I'm quite pleased with it. That's it. I'm not changing it anymore. Uh, I reckon that I've done a pretty good job. Hopefully you'll leave a like and a comment to agree with me and uh, I'll be able to see it from your point of view as well. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of VisoCraft. It's been uh, lovely having you here on the channel once again. I will see you next time.